Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is Tag Tuesday and I'm going to do a tag that is relevant to this time of year. Today's tag is going to be the spooky book tag and I've been tagged by Lico Loves Books a year ago but I didn't have the chance to do it last year so I'm doing this right now. I live in Italy and we do not celebrate Halloween that much we know what Halloween is and they do parties and stuff, but there's no trick-or-treating, it's just not a big deal. Anyway, let's get on with the questions. Cord Maze, what book have you confused and lost from the very beginning? And looking at my shelves, I have to say that maybe The Last Star got me confused because I honestly do not remember a thing that happened in this book. I remembered how the Infinite Sea finished, but I do not remember anything. And I just remember being very confused and not getting what was going on. So yeah. Number two, Haunted House. What book has the creepiest setting? And guys, I think I've never read a horror book. I'm currently reading Girl of Nightmares, but this is like a YA romance between a ghost and a ghost hunter, and it's not scary at all. I haven't read thrillers, and for example, I've only read Carrie from Stephen King, and I wasn't scared. So I do not have a answer to this question. I do not know which book that I've read has the scariest setting. Maybe. If we think like the scariest world that I would not want to live in, I'd say, I don't know, The Hunger Games, I would not want to be in that. Or even The Fifth Wave, I wouldn't want to be in Apocalypse, like alien invasion setting. But they definitely do not give a creepy vibe, so I don't think they're the right answer to this question, but let's go on. Number three, Ghost Boyfriend. Who is your eternal book boyfriend? Um, uh, I do not have currently a crush on a book character. Wow, this is going well. I have to say though that watching the To All The Boys I Love Before movie, I like Peter Kavinsky in the movie. I didn't like him much in the books. So yeah, I'm gonna say that. Number four is Caramel Apple Suckers. Best dang Halloween book ever. <sighs> I have to read more Halloween books. Number five, Vampires in Everything. What is your least favorite Halloween trope? Well, I have to say that I've watched a few scary movies, horror movies, and I just hate when the light is off and they just go in without any weapon and without like even trying to turn the lights on like come on <laughs> turn the lights on and I wouldn't even go near a creepy place at least not about myself so that is just something that frustrates me when I watch a movie oh and of course when they're running and they fall <laughs> they always fall number six is evil incarnate the most evil villain and um Voldemort of course he's the biggest villain I know at least from what I remember at this moment number seven is Ouija board a book that messes with things that you don't want to be involved in Ooh. well maybe the Anadrist and Blood duology they mess with spirits I think because her the protagonist's mother is a witch and they mess with spirits and stuff like that and I, I wouldn't want to do that. Number eight is full moon. What character do you turn into on the full moon? Well, I've said in other tags that if I could choose to be a book character, I would probably choose to be Hermione because I don't know, who wouldn't want to be a great wizard? Who one wouldn't want to live in the wizarding world, who wouldn't want to be in that friend group, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna say Hermione. All Hallows Eve. The other world and this world have meshed for one night. What book world would you love to be swept up in? 
Um, Hogwarts, the Wizarding World, of course. Number 10, Voodoo Doll. What author would you love to take control of and make them write you anything you want? Well, I wouldn't command any author to write anything. Probably Harry Potter because there is still so much to talk about in that world, you know? So I would want, definitely want the author to write more Harry Potter books. Number 11 is Black Cat. What red flags do you look for when first starting out a book? Well, I definitely pay attention to characters if they're likable or not. I look out for insta-love and all those cliches and tropes that I hate. Number 12 is Witch's Brew, a book that had a lot of different components thrown in, but the result was magical. Whoa, that's a difficult question. So my answer to this question is, in the To All the Boys I Loved Before trilogy, a lot of things happened from, you know, the letters getting out to... Lara Jean having mixed feelings for different people and in the last book she going into college and stuff like that so a lot of themes were in this trilogy and I really liked the last book so the result was great I gave the first two books three three and a half stars but the last one I gave five I don't know why probably I've read it at the right time in my life and so yeah, the result was magical. Number 13 is tag people, and I'm not gonna tag anyone since tomorrow is Halloween, so I'm, I'm late to tag people, but if you want to do it, of course, do it. You can upload it tomorrow if you want to, and yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. I haven't done a tag in a while, but I'm going to do more of them since I've been tagged in a few tags. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.